International Song Competition for the World Parkinson's Congress and they're going to be performing their winning song at the opening ceremony in Barcelona, that's in July. Our reporter Rachel Royce caught up with them as they pursued, well, their second artistic interest. Deciding how to hang your art is an artistic task in itself. Chris Stanley has an exhibition for a month at Southwell Library. Her friend and art teacher Janet Shipton is there as well to advise. But art isn't the only thing these women do. They've also won an international music competition at the World Parkinson's Congress. I thought, well, we could enter our song, our original song. Um, so, and it's called The Road. And it's about redemption, it's about hope, it's about looking forward rather than looking backwards. It was as a result of a composed song that we did for Parky players. So we were involved in a drama group in, in North Tunisia and have performed all over North Tunisia, Leicester, Derby. But we ultimately took to the final thing was we took it to the films in Edinburgh. The two women met at hospital after they were diagnosed with Parkinson's. It's a disease with many symptoms that won't go away. We I mean, never choose to diagnose something like Parkinson's, but it does bring lots of other things to your life that you don't expect. So for me and Chris, we're very positive people. Um, we, uh, we are creative and we use creativity to get through the hard times. Um, painting being one of the things. And the other thing is we do a lot of is exercise. And Janet and I actually met through a warrior program at the hospital once diagnosed. And we've been very, very special and good friends ever since. Well, it's lovely to have somebody young. Now they're in rehearsals with entrants from 15 other countries. <laughs> proving that there is life beyond Parkinson's. Rachel Royce, BBC East Midlands Today, Southwell.